tomorrow, if we have to fight uh, in a big, high intensity conflict, we'll be all together. So we need to prep for that and we need to train together. And this exercise is a unique opportunity to do it. From the uh, fighter pilot perspective, you want to be challenged uh, constantly because it's hard to tell what the next fight's going to look like. And so we do that in two ways. We have uh, simulated uh, missiles that we can use, but what really makes it difficult for the blue air is the fact that we can put up enough jets that it becomes a, a numbers problem for them. And so uh, for me, at least, and I think any uh, F-22 pilot or just blue air in general, it's, uh, when you see a lot of adversaries out there, you have that, well, all right, here we go moment, but it's also uh, just a problem for us to solve, and that's what we like to do. So. So, again, that unique perspective that uh, each force, uh, joint force brings, uh, is getting highlighted when um, our fall guy is a uh, mission commander or uh, someone in the Typhoon is a mission commander. The big picture importance of this is that we're doing it with the French Air Force and with the USAF because we need to be able to do that together. That's what we anticipate. Lockheed Martin is the prime contractor for the F-35 with major partners north of Grumman and BAE Systems. The aircraft has three main variants, conventional takeoff and landing, CQOL, F-35A, short takeoff and vertical landing, stone, F-35B, and carrier-based F-35C, CV slash catabog. The aircraft is a derivative of the Lockheed Martin the 10th minus 35 which in 2001 beat the Boeing X-32 to win the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF, program. Its construction was primarily funded by the United States, with additional funding from program partner countries of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and close U.S. allies, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Italy, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, and previously Turkey. Several other countries have also ordered, or are considering ordering, the aircraft. The program received much scrutiny and criticism due to its unprecedented size, complexity, cost overruns, and greatly delayed delivery. The strategy of simultaneously acquiring production aircraft while they were still in development and testing led to expensive design changes and retrofits. Sensors and avionics edit in slash OC 40 electro optical target system. OTS. Under the nose of the F-35, the F-35 mission system is one of the most complex aspects of the aircraft. Avionics and sensor fusion are designed to enhance pilots' situational awareness and command and control capabilities and facilitate network-centric warfare. Primary sensors include the Northrop Grumman and Slash APG-81 Active Electronically Scanning Array AESA, radar. BAE Systems and Slash ASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, Northrop Grumman Slash Raytheon and Slash A-37 Electro-Optical System Distributed Aperture, DAS, Lockheed Martin and Slash A-40 Electro-Optical Targeting System, YOTS, and Northrop Grumman and Slash ASQ-242 Communications, Navigation and Identification, CNI, Suite. The F-35 is designed with sensor intercommunication to provide a cohesive picture of the local battle space and availability for all possible uses and combinations with each other. For example, the APG-81 radar also acts as part of an electronic warfare system stealth capability as a key aspect of the F-35's design, and radar cross-section RCS, is minimized through careful shaping of the airframe and use of radar-absorbing materials REM. Obvious measures to reduce RCS include edge alignment, skin panel serrations, and masking of engine and turbine surfaces. In addition, the F-35's diverterless supersonic inlet DSI, uses a compression bump and sweeping front shroud rather than a separation or exhaust slip system to divert the boundary layer away from the inlet eliminating diverter cavities and further reducing radar signature. The F-35's RCS is characterized as lower than a metal golf ball at certain frequencies and angles. Under some conditions, the F-35 compares favorably to the F-22 in stealth capabilities. For ease of maintenance, the F-35 stealth design takes lessons from previous stealth aircraft such as the F-22, the F-35's radar, Machine edit. The 
single-engine aircraft is powered by Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan rated thrust of 28,000 lbf, 125 kN, at military power of 43,000 lbf, 191 kN, with afterburner, derived from the Pratt & Whitney F-119 used by the F-22. The F-135 had a larger fan and higher bypass ratio to improve subsonic thrust and fuel efficiency, and unlike the F-119, was not optimized for super cruise. The engine contributes to the F-35 stealth by having a low observable augment A, or afterburner, which incorporates the fuel injectors into the thick curved propeller. These vanes are covered by a ceramic radar absorbing material stealthy to had problems with pressure pulses or screech at low altitudes and high speeds early in its development. The low observable symmetrical axis nozzle consists of 15 partially overlapping flaps that create a sawtooth pattern on the trailing edge, which reduces the radar signature and creates a vortex that reduces the infrared signature of the exhaust plume. Due to the large dimensions of the engines, the U.S. Navy had to modify the auto replenishment system to facilitate logistics support at sea. The F-35's integrated power package, IPP, performs power and thermal management and integrates environmental control, auxiliary power units, engine starting, and other functions into one system.